Dana, tell us what's going on here at this homeowner's house. These homeowners are engaging in an air sealing project uh, as part of Efficiency Maine's air seal deal. They're doing six hours of air sealing and insulation around the uh, around the house and uh, incorporated with a BPI energy audit, one of our participating energy auditors from the area. And uh, we're, we're promoting uh, folks taking these steps right away and we'll pay for the first $600 on the invoice. What kind of air sealing and insulation is done? Um, so far uh, in the program, we've had more than 3,500 homes uh, engage in this air sealing uh, deal. And the most common uh, measures that are engaged in by the energy auditors uh, is sealing around chimney chases, both in the basement and the attic, um, sealing around uh, plumbing and uh, lighting penetrations that go through the different floors, sealing around uh, the rim joists uh, and sills in the, in the uh, basement around the perimeter. Um, anywhere the air leakage can come in in the lower floor, get heated up, and then have the opportunity to rise up through the structure similar to a chimney. By, by cutting off those draft points at the high and low points in the building, you can dramatically reduce the energy consumption in the house and the amount of waste. Main homes are exceptionally leaky to start with, and uh, six hours air sealing and insulation work does a good job and on average is reducing the leakiness of the houses by about 15% which in a typical house using a typical oil-fired boiler is expected to reduce their consumption by someplace in the ballpark of 70 gallons a year, close to $300 a year in savings. Um, that's just the tip of the iceberg though because a lot of these houses could stand a fair amount more air sealing and insulation work. But this program really gives homeowners um, the opportunity to see where the real problems are so that they can identify where they want to put their investment in weatherization going forward. Um, and it also makes them more informed consumers um, and, and uh, knowledgeable about the different safety considerations that they want to take into, play, into consideration in their house. A typical home like the one we're doing today, what is the average cost for doing this kind of project? 90% of the projects that are partas participating in the loan program, uh, the total invoice cost is between $600 and $1,300. So there are certainly a lot of people that are engaging in much more rigorous projects and uh, really doing a lot of insulation in the attics or in the basements or upgrading their heating equipment, all of which can be supported through one of our loan programs, the Pace and Power Saver Loan Programs. But uh, in that six to twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollar range, we're paying the first six hundred dollars. So it really gives people an opportunity to pay just a couple of hundred dollars out of pocket and get a real good sense of what sort of weatherization they can get done. Mark, you've got a lot of sort of high tech equipment here, measuring heat and uh, blower doors and everything. Tell us a little bit about the technology behind what you're measuring today. Actually, this uh, equipment will help us to determine what the air leakage of the home is. Uh, the blower door is used to depressurize the home to f negative 50 pascals. So what we're doing is we're taking the air out of the home and we're blowing it outside. We're doing that at a certain pressure that we're creating with a manometer and a fan. And that will give us a number, the number of cubic feet per minute we're able to draw out of the home. That number is a good indicator of how leaky the home is. And uh, when it draws the warm air out of the home, it has to replace it with cold air. So it's easy to identify where the air is coming from, the cold air. And you use a, a thermal, thermal imaging to do that? I do. I'm certified in thermography. So uh, we can use the infrared camera to see if there's insulation in the walls. And it will also track whether there's any type of convection loop going on uh, where air is cooling the walls faster than it should. So it sounds like a really good program and a lot of good science behind it, but something that also will help the homeowner save some money and make the house more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Definitely, it will save them money. Sometimes the comfort, uh, they will notice a decrease in drafts, but a lot of the air leaks are inside uh, chimney chases and uh, um, any type of uh, enclosed cavities that are going from the basement to the attic. So uh, most of the people uh, won't immediately notice a big difference. They might in the second floor, but the heating cost will go down. And uh, typically, people will place their heating unit near where they spend their time. Um, but in this case, if the air can't get out the top, the warm air it will push down into the living area to make it more comfortable. Sam, your house has already been insulated. You've gone through the program. What kind of benefits did you see? Well, first of all, there was a favorite sofa in my house that always felt drafty. 
and uh, the air sealing that they did particularly to uh, find air infiltrating under the baseboards in my comfort zone in my living room in my dining room has been very effective uh, along with some other air sealing they did uh, to eliminate the chimney effect on my basement uh, stairway. And what specifically kind of work did they do? They did some weather stripping of doors, uh, they did some sealing of the hatch into the attic, they did a lot of caulking under those baseboards I mentioned earlier, uh, and they added behind the insulation I had put in uh, foam board um, insulation between the, the, sill, the joists and the sills around the basement of my house. Is this work that you could have done yourself or thought about doing yourself? Thought about it, never got around to it. I bet there are a lot of other people like that. Uh, some of this stuff makes perfect sense. But you know, the other thing that the program does is by having the, the blower fan on when they're looking for the leaks, makes it much easier to find where the air is getting in. And that's where they have a real advantage, that plus their infrared camera. Suzanne, tell me a little bit about the work of the Island Institute. Sure. The Island Institute is a nonprofit organization based up in Rockland. It's our mission to work and support, work with and support the 15 year round island communities of Maine and the related working waterfront communities. Um, we work on a number of different issues ranging from education and supporting the island schools, uh, fisheries policy and working with coastal fishermen, uh, and increasingly more and more we're working on energy challenges. And what are some of the special problems that island residents have with energy? Sure. The cost of energy on maintenance islands are some of the highest energy costs in the entire nation. When it comes to electricity, we have some communities paying uh, up to 70 cents a kilowatt hour, which as context, we pay about 15 cents a kilowatt hour on the mainland. Uh, and we also have communities that are paying extremely high costs to heat their homes. The cost of heating fuel uh, is extremely high because we've got to transport it out to all of the islands. And to make matters even more complicated, a lot of the homes on the islands uh, are very old, sometimes uh, were seasonal housing stock originally that have turned into year-round houses, so uh, they're, they're not the mo necessarily the most efficient structures um, that we have. And how is this program addressing some of those issues? This program is uh, designed to provide island residents with some basic air sealing and insulation services from a certified energy auditor uh, and also a report to help them guide, uh, help guide them to do future weatherization retrofits. Uh, what it really tries to do uh, is make sure that these services are accessible to islanders. Oftentimes it's difficult to get a certified professional to travel out to an island uh, and oftentimes it comes with an additional cost that's cost prohibitive for the island homeowner. So this program is uh, working to organize the work in bulk so that it's uh, more interesting uh, for the contractor to come out and do that work and we can spread the cost over a number of homeowners instead of just one or two. On your website, there are a lot of tools that the homeowner can use, calculators and that sort of thing. Talk about that and where can they go for that information? Certainly. Um, we, we do have a number of different tools uh, available for homeowners to check out on our website. Um, it, it includes, we have a, a, a locator tool for finding uh, contractors. That's probably the most used tool. Um, you can uh, enter in your zip code and a radius and the service, a weatherization service that you're looking for, and it'll come up with all the energy auditors in your area uh, ranked by the number of projects that they've completed. We also have calculators um, for comparison of different heating fuels and different heating technologies. So if you have a boiler and you spend more than $3,000 a year, you can go to the heating calculator and dial down to your type of heating system and the cost that you typically pay on an annual basis and it'll show a comparable um, number of BTUs used, the comparable heating use for a variety of other heating technologies. Because oftentimes people say, well, I've heard propane's great and I want to switch over to propane. But when they look at the pr current price of propane, even though propane equipment tends to be more efficient, um, the cost of the fuel is actually higher per heating unit. And so propane tends to be a more expensive choice. And what's the website? Uh, of course, EfficiencyMaine.com, all your resources for energy and different contractors. Um, we do have a call center uh, in Waldeboro at one eight six six es maine um, and uh, the, the folks there are uh, happy to pick up the phone and talk about any of our programs or help you uh, apply for a loan for weatherization um, or direct you to uh, the resources in your area.